Because they introduce it to me is my life. I need that. It's kind of like a medicine for like someone that's sick. My name is Leonardo Nunes da La Costa. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I was born in 1974. Leo Dalla is one of the few Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners who pioneered the martial art in the East Coast. Master Dalla has won many titles in his ongoing career. He is the world's 98 and 99 bronze medalist, 2011 world's Nogi super heavyweight gold medalist, and is a multiple Pan American super heavy and open weight gold medalist. He has also produced many black belts, such as Kelly Grimson, Doug Esposito, and the famous Lloyd Irvin. Childhood life was pretty good, you know, I come from a very good family, you know, we, I would say, kind of, I'm an upper class there in Brazil. People think about Brazil being like tough on the streets and things like that, but from the neighborhood that I grew up was, wasn't anything similar to that. I was always very humble and Jiu-Jitsu helped me a lot. I started training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu back in 1987. A friend of mine invited me to go to the class. And I said, all right, let's go. And then I, I always were training under Master Jorge Pereira Pinto. He's a student of Hickson Gracie, and that's right on my neighborhood, you know. So it's very, it was very convenient for me. Since I started, I couldn't stop because it was something that really hands-on, you know, you really test yourself live on a real situation, you're sparring against each other, you know, so there's no excuse, you know, you know, you see how you progress. It's, it's, it's great to train. Competition, you know, like, it, it helps to, to see where you are into the sport, to see if you're doing good. I think he takes a much more step back and look at it, approach to things, and so that helps me see things from a different perspective. So he continues to influence my jiu-jitsu game, he continues to be a great friend to me, and it's great being part of his team. In my situation, I also love to, to always keep competing, to, to, to keep me motivated, to train hard, to keep eating healthy, to keep myself in shape. So I always try to challenge myself, or either with competition or with something different that, that could challenge me as well. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is kind of a journey, you know, we, we all, we were always going to be continuing to grow. I have other students like Doug Exposito, he, you know, nowadays he just leaves from Jiu-Jitsu, he has his own martial arts school, he's part of the Big Brothers, that, that's a team that me and my friends from Brazil have and all my students under me are participating. Kelly Grinsom, uh, he, he is an ex-Marine. I just gave him the black belt. He also opened up his school like two years ago, and he loves, his school is growing. Master Dalla has had a big impact on my life. He gave up all his time, whole days to ride around with me and go, well, you could go there, you could go there, try to help me see the vision of what it would be like to have my own school. He changed my life. You know, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have a school. I wouldn't have a relationship I have with, with my students who are all sitting around here, even though they're not on the camera right now. You know, th these guys mean a lot to me, and it helps me understand my relationship to Master Dalla. And, and he has a relationship with these guys, too. And It's difficult to articulate. It's an intangible thing. Hope to, to, to be on a mat for... As, as much as possible, you know, and, and pass my gym to my kids. I pretend doing this for the rest of my life. As long as my body can handle, my mind is good, I'll be here on the mat training.